Pringles Multigrain. They're sort of branded to be more healthy, aren't they? It's got this cutesy sort of font and it says less salt, but are healthier Pringles better Pringles? Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ. I bought these from Tesco. I think they were... I think they were on special special offer actually. I think they were on special offer for £2 a tub. Um, and I've got a couple of flavours here. There is a third flavour. Um, sorry, I haven't even shown you two yet. Well, I haven't even said one. So I haven't said one. Here are two and there is a third. I think the third might be sour cream and onion. Maybe, something like that. Um, but we've got roast chicken and rosemary which we'll do in a separate review. But today I'm doing barbecue sauce. This is an interesting one because there is already a barbecue flavour of Pringles, but they call it um, Texas barbecue, unless things have changed. Uh, yeah, whereas this one is barbecue sauce. Huh? Um, Multigrain. So what exactly does this have in it? Because, of course, normal Pringles are just like potato powder. Uh, this is cereal flours, 43%, rice, corn, wheat, malted barley... Uh, along with dehydrated potatoes, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's basically like a Pringle, but half of it is cereal flour, which is very interesting. This could have a, a very strange flavour to it. Wow, it's, um, it's a lot darker than I expected. I mean, look, there's the image on the actual packaging. It doesn't look a million miles off of a normal Pringle. But there, hopefully you can see, it's like quite a bit browner. Um, which, to be honest, wouldn't, isn't really surprising from what it's got in it, all those cereal flour. Um, smells a bit more like a barbecue rib sort of um, smell, more so than Texas barbecue Pringles. But it does, it does smell similar. Anyway, let's give it a go. Ooh. Okay, flavour-wise... Very, very similar to Texas barbecue um, Pringles. Oh, that's an odd aftertaste. I can't even put my finger on the aftertaste quite. It's definitely the crisp itself rather than the flavouring. It's almost like a tinniness to it. Oh, mm. how very odd this is. Because the, the body of the crisp has a weird, almost sweet, sour savoury vibe to it with this milk, milky sort of tinny back note. Let's go for one more. Mmm. Oh god. Oh man. That is odd. That is very odd. I'm not sure how I feel about them. Claire, try one in. What do you think of that? The multi-grain. Can I have one later? No, have it now because... Um, what flavour is it? Barbecue sauce. Do you, know, do you think it's a bit weird? Oh. At first it's fine. And then you get like a bit of a weird aftertaste. Yeah, very much a weird aftertaste, isn't it's it? It's more like, more like a cracker. Mm. Yeah, but for me it's it's quite unpleasant actually. I'm not a fan of that. Um, there's this it's like... Got quite a tangy, tangy yeah. sour taste afterwards. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is like a tangy sour taste. So you put it in your mouth. And straight away it's fine, but almost immediately for me it turns into this very odd flavour, which I actually think comes from the flavouring. But that goes quite quickly because then you're into like where the cereal flavours are coming through. And it mixes, for me, it mixes so oddly with the potato and then the overall Pringles taste. I think that's extremely odd, extremely weird and actually sort of gross. Um, I give them a, a pretty low two stars. Um, they're actually the worst Pringles that I've ever had, um, I think I would say. And that may well be what I end up calling this video. Unless these are the worst I've ever had. In which case that's what I'll call that video. But let me just get a new thumbnail just in case. Something like that would work. Uh, so yeah, subscribe if you're new. Uh, let me know what you thought of these in the comments below if you've had them. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Good. All right. <laughs>